everyone! So the other day I went into Target and um, I picked up some of these planner goodies. This is the Sugar Paper Collaboration uh, and it's their planners and I've got here some stickers from them as well. I actually picked these up as a giveaway prize on my Instagram. Um, if you don't know already, I'm doing a 12 day Christmas giveaway on my Instagram account. But one of the giveaways will be linked with this channel and this video, so I'll go into that in more detail later on. Right now, I just wanted to show you guys what these planners look like on the inside and my little two cents on it, I suppose. So I didn't actually pick up all of the different items in the line. Um, I just sort of went through and picked out uh, the items that I thought were very nice and that I would personally really love to have. I know that a lot of these items are sold out. Um, when I was there, they did have all of the items there, the whole full line, but I'm not sure if they still would have that at this point in time. I think you would have to definitely check with your local Target to see if they've got the full range. And hopefully it's not too late for you guys to go and pick it up. And if you really like one of these, um, who knows, maybe you might be able to win it in the giveaway. Okay, so I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to start off with this guy here. So the first item I wanted to show you is this adorable mini planner. Um, it's got these irregular black and white polka dots throughout. And um, it's also got these like metal gold uh, corner protectors. I don't know what they're called. Um, but I just thought that it was just gorgeous and I also wanted something that I could keep on my nightstand. So this item I bought for myself, all the other ones um, I bought for the giveaway. So the reason why I bought this was because I wanted to have a place where I could just kind of journal in a very very brief way every single day. It doesn't really have to be what happened that day, it could be. Um, it could just be what's going on in my head, um, what I'm grateful for, maybe a very significant Bible verse or just just a little note for myself. Um, and because it's dated, I thought that would be perfect to just sort of keep um, for the rest of my life so I could just kind of look back. Um, I'll show you the insides. Um, this is a cover. It's very simple. I really like this blue. Um, I'm... I mean, I really like blue. This is the type of blue that I'm normally not into. But I don't know, it just, it looks really nice against the black and white and the gold, so yeah. Um, the first thing that you've got here is the yearly overview. So the whole calendar for 2017 and 2018. It's also got this little section where you can just write down the personal details, emergency contact, friends and family. I never fill these out. Um, because I just don't think that it's very safe to have these written in your planner. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if we're just going to keep it at home, but it's really unnecessary for me. I don't know why planners keep making these, like putting these in there, because I don't think really anybody uses them. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, if so, if you do <laughs> use this, please let me know. Um, I may just be completely misinformed. Um, then it goes into the context section, so a little column for the names and another column for the address and the numbers. Um, again, I don't really use these anymore, especially in this day and age, you've got everything on your phone. Um, but I guess it's nice to have a physical copy for some, some things. So I'm not going to fill that out. And then, oh that's just, yeah, that's just two pages I suppose. And then it goes right into January 2017 and this is the monthly overview. Um, and if you can see, Saturday and Sunday is combined into one column I suppose. So it's just divided into two sections there. Um, if I were actually writing in my monthly section, which I do in my other planners, that would bother me uh, because I, I don't know, it's just it doesn't make sense to me to have it like that. But I think it's okay if you are just using it for like a quick reference or just, I don't know, maybe very simple things like somebody's birthday or anniversaries or things like that. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be writing anything in my monthly view, so that's okay for me. 
And then we go into the weekly section and as you can see, it's dated and lined, which is excellent for me because um, it just means that all of my handwriting is going to be looking a little bit neater. Um, not that I would be caring too much about the neatness of these because I'll pretty much be writing in bed every single night. So um, I don't think that matters, but yeah, it's nice to have those lines. And then it just continues on through to the next month. And let's see where the next month is. There you go. It goes into February there. And that continues on all the way through to December. And then it goes into notes. So there's a pretty big note section, um, which I might be using if I'm writing down something a little bit longer. Um, if I feel like I really need to get things out of my brain onto paper, that would be handy. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And then at the very end, these are just the, the various holidays. So that's a mini planner. I really like it. Uh, it's a really nice compact size. Um, I don't have too much room that I'm just going to be wasting every single day because I'm not planning to write a lot. Um, I love that it's durable with the hardcover and of course I really like this little ribbon page marker. I suppose that's what it is. <laughs> so that's that. So the next item that stood out to me was this um, and it really was a color combination, the blush and the gold together that just drew me in. Um, I don't know why, it's just the most typical girly color that you could think of. <laughs> But it is beautiful and I can't help it. it I mean, uh, please tell me that you agree. <laughs> um, I also like the fact that it's coil bound. So that means that you could just kind of flip it and fold it over on itself like this. That's always kind of handy. Um, the coil isn't the most sturdy that I've seen. Um, but for this price point, I don't think that it's too bad, to be honest. If it does bend, like for example, if you drop it, it will bend. Um, you can sort of like unbend it back into shape. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if that bothers a lot of people. For me personally, it doesn't matter too much. If I'm not spending like $100 or over $60 on a planner, um, it doesn't matter too much quite honestly so <laughs> yeah that's beautiful um, here it just says in gold foil agenda um, I love these corner protectors because that's where it gets mangled the fastest for me with anything whether it's a book or a planner or whatever um, just always a corner <laughs> so this is the inside and that's the front cover I'm not gonna take this jacket off because this is for a giveaway but you can still see that the entire inside cover is just foiled in gold and here it says from the desk of and you can just write down your name there I think that's just beautiful um, and then on this side it says 2017 agenda and it's also foiled so that's really nice and then when you flip that over, you've got the year at a glance view for 2017 and 2018. So that's nice. Um, this is, oh yeah, so it's a really thick piece of cardstock and it's got these pockets. So one on this side and then one on that side. I like that it's white because you could really do what you want with it. Like, I don't know, put some washi tape on that. That would be really pretty. You could put some stickers on that. Um, maybe just, I don't know, write down receipts and keep all your receipts there. That would be really nice. And then this section is just, um, it says quick reference. So all the personal details, again, emergency contacts, friends and family. Um, if you do write these down, you have a little section for that. And then these are just the holidays. So it says dates to remember, and it's all the, I suppose, American holidays. Um, so you've got that in reference. Oh, and it's nice because you've, yeah, you can see it for 2017, 18, 19, and 2020. So things like uh, Thanksgiving day, that changes every year. So you've got that in reference. I like that. Um, and then it goes into the contact section. So 
name and address or numbers. That, yeah, that goes on for a couple, couple pages. And then it goes into the monthly view of January. And I really like how simple it is. I love that there's so much room at the top that you could just do whatever you want. I would personally put down stickers there, like functional stickers. Um, and you've also got a little note section that's lined, so you can just write down little notes or make a little, make your own little checklist, I suppose. You also get a view of the month before and then the month after. And then we go into the weekly view, which is, again, extremely simple. Um, if you have seen my Plan With Me video, my new setup, um, I am preferring to like these really simple setups so that I can have, I guess, create the different sections on my own. Um, this is also very, very flexible in that way, I suppose. So you can just use like a little checklist box on the side for all your to-dos and then all your appointments can kind of go on the other side. Yeah, that's really nice. I love that there is so much room at the top that you can just do whatever you want with. And um, even though the weekend is split in two, um, that doesn't bother me too much because really it's hard to find everything that you want in a planner, um, especially at an affordable price. Um, and I know for most people, it doesn't really matter to have only half a day for the weekend. So yeah, that's the weekly view. And then that continues on. So these are all the months and the weeks. All the way through to December. And then after December, it goes into the notes section. So you've got quite a few pages of those. So let's see how many. Yeah, just just a few. I think there's like six or seven pages of notes. Um, and then that's it. That's the planner. And again, the back cover is foiled in gold. So that's the beautiful blush pink planner. Um, I may have to go back and see if they've got another one left um, so that I could give this to a friend of mine. I think she would really like it. Um, I probably should have picked up another one while I was there. <laughs> it's probably all sold out now, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I've got this planner. Um, this is actually a little bit bigger than the blush colored one. So if you can see side by side, um, if you see it like that. So it's a little bit wider and taller, but the width, I mean the thickness is about the same. Um, it's got the same gold coil um, and the same hard cover um, but it doesn't have the, the corner protectors which doesn't matter too much for me I suppose um, because it really is the inside that matters the most for me. So I bought a planner last year with the sugar paper line and it had a really similar if not exactly the same layout on the inside and I really loved it. So I'll show you. Um, if you just open it up it's got a really plain cover and then it's got the yearly overview page for 2017. And then this is just the same cardstock pocket, so one on this side and then one on this side. And then this is the yearly overview for 2018. And then it goes into the personal reference page, like all your personal information page. And then the holidays. Um, and then it goes into context just for a couple pages and then it goes into the really simple and beautiful uh, monthly overview section. I would have preferred it if it didn't have um, the month written on one side at least so that I could use that space for something else but that's okay too. That's so beautiful. Um, so yeah that's really nice and simple. I love that the ink isn't just like a really stark black. It's very subtle. I like it. And then this is the weekly view. 
Um, and the reason why I love it so much is that you can keep all your appointments and your events on this side and use this section for all of your to-dos and tasks. So if you see here, this side is dated like so and the weekend is split. And then this side at the top it says this week and you see all these little checklist boxes all the way down and then this you can use for either one of those so remember notes or to do you don't have to use these checklist boxes um, if you just want to jot down your notes or whatever you need to remember um, so that's really nice i love it so that gets repeated all the way through to december and then it goes into the note section again and then you've got a good chunk of these notes pages all the way to the end and then that's it that's the planner i also picked up these stickers for the giveaway um they're the same one for each giveaway and they're just these beautiful gold foiled stickers that say birthday vacation remember things to do blank ones, like little other stickers that you can use in your planner. Um, and it comes with a few stickers in there, I think. I'm not sure exactly how many. But yeah, that's um, also what I picked up. So for the giveaway, I'm giving away these two bundles, so um, a planner and a sticker pack. For day 10 of the giveaway, you'll be entering to win this planner and the sticker pack um, on my Instagram account. And if you want to know the details, you can go follow me at The Organizing Companion. For day 11 of the giveaway, you'll be entering to win this planner and the stickers um, on my YouTube channel. And all you have to do is be following me on this channel and leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite Christmas drink is. If you are under the age of 18, make sure you have your parents' permission uh, because I would be needing your address to send this out. I'm gonna leave all of our social media linked down below. Um, I've also started Snapchatting, so I'm just literally using it to kind of take you around behind the scenes um, with this business that I run. A lot of it is just me kind of chatting to you guys about, I suppose, design decisions, <laughs> maybe a little sneak peek here and there, and a lot of Target trips. <laughs> so if you guys like seeing things like that, my Snapchat is at Catherine Beyond. I'll also leave that link down below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Um, I know that the holiday seasons can be quite stressful for a lot of you, but despite that, people are still very happy and I just love that about this time of the year. And um, I've just been listening to Christmas Carol non-stop, just all day and I'm not sick of it yet. <laughs> so, gosh, uh, I'm a little bit Christmas crazy. And you'll get to see that in my Snapchat. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys take care and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.